Hello viewers, today we're going to be cleaning a Lucent telephone. This is model 2500YMGM. It is written right on there, I'm not sure why I missed it during the other video, the initial video of it, but there it is in plain sight. I've never been inside one of these before, so it's probably going to take some effort to get into here. I'm not exactly sure how the handset comes apart. Now that I'm looking at it closer, it appears that this could also have been used as some kind of a wall telephone or a telephone that had wall mounting capacities. The base, I believe, should come off with those three screws, so let's start taking this apart and see what we can do here. I can't get this to come apart, and I've used every trick in the book, so I don't know, I can't fathom how in the world this was designed to not come apart, but somehow this was made so that it will never come apart. So I'm going to have to try to clean this while it's together and hope it doesn't break, uh, or get ruined from moisture, because it's filthy and it really needs to be cleaned. This on the other hand came apart relatively easily, and this should clean up fine. Uh, same thing with the buttons, although they're the annoying kind where they just kind of come out, so we have to be very careful with that so that doesn't happen. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I had some other things to do, so I couldn't finish yesterday. but. It's for the most part all cleaned up, or as clean as it's going to get anyways. The handset cleaning I didn't show on video because I had to do some highly non-recommended things uh, to get this cleaned up. But it cleaned up okay, I just hope it still works. Because I imagine some components got wet they're not supposed to. Um, the buttons... Oh dear. They're not one piece, like they're all individual segments. And I don't deem them dirty enough to go over the hassle of cleaning them like that, so these are okay. I just brushed them out dry. It really was just dust that was in here, not, not real grime or anything. So that's fine. That's ready to go. And I really don't want that to come out of there. The telephone itself, um, the stickers came off okay, didn't leave any residue or anything can kind of see where it was. It's been on it for a long time and it didn't yellow underneath it. There's a little sticky patch right there. We're going to have to go, go over that again. Um, there's some marks here and there. There's a mark right there. There's some scuffs on the back here. I can make a paste that will clean those off, but since this is something I'm going to use, I, I don't see a reason to go nuts trying to clean every little bit off when it's going to be exposed to daily use and get banged up again or something anyways um, so this is as clean as it's gonna get it's clean it's just not flawless so oh, actually we did have a casualty with the paper I forgot to take the paper out it got wet but I think it'll be okay once I put it in under the, the plastic piece to hold it flat alright so let's reassemble this um, the board is a little weird. There's like something on it. I don't know what that is. It's kind of sticky. Um, I guess in theory, perhaps at some point, I'm going to have to take this board and run it through the dishwasher because you don't really want to have that on there. But for now, it's going to be fine. The other side of it, you know, it has all the components and everything. It seems to be okay. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But anyways, let's get it put back together and then we'll do a final checkout. Okay, I got a new cord for it because the one it came with wasn't in the greatest of condition and I don't have any reason to have that long of a cord on something like this. This cord is not a perfect match but 
since cords don't seem to yellow as much as the phones do itself, I guess is what it is. Alright, let's plug this thing up here and then we'll do a test. Make sure it's all working. Okay, we'll start with ringing it up. Okay, it's not ringing. Is the ringer off? Yes, it is. There we go. And ringer low. I think that is working. Check, check. One, two, three. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, that's working. I think the only thing I didn't test on the initial checkout was the uh, tone pulse. So let's switch over to pulse for a moment. Hang everything up and we'll check the numbers. Okay, that seems to work. I'll switch back over to tone. Okay. Let's go ahead and make an outside call. Sounds good to me. Alright, that's going to wrap this one up. This was the Lucent 2500 YMGM telephone cleaning. Uh, oh, we didn't check the mute and everything. Talk on it. Oh, jeez, it's not. Check, 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 check. That's working. Holding, hold is working. It's flashing. Let's check the redial real quick here. Okay, it is all good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.